take a break because we have to deal with an Olympic World Championship possibility here in the women's 3,000 meter steeplechase final. Lee, this is such a good field. I'm so excited to see this race and we get to see Peru Chamutai. She won the Olympic gold last summer, running away from Courtney Frerichs on the final lap, Ugandan's first female Olympic medal ever, and she set a national record in that run. She has very unique form over the barriers. It's always interesting to watch her jump over the barriers and the water pit. Yeah, it's a little sideways, kind of like a skateboard flick. So this is Nora Gerudo of Kazakhstan. She ran an incredible 901 in the preliminary. She was asked, why did you run so fast? She said, I wanted to make the final. <laughs> yeah, Gerudo has been the best steeplechaser the last couple of years in the world, but unfortunately we didn't see her in Tokyo because her alliance switching to Kazakhstan had not gone through. But right after the Olympics, she went out at Prefontaine and dominated that field, running the fastest time of the world. And she showed, I should have been there and watch out. And she's here, she's ready to win a medal. There's a huge roar from this Haywood Field crowd for Emma Coburn, the 2017 world champ. This is a big moment for Emma Coburn. You know, her family wasn't able to come to Tokyo last year. She struggled there. Her mom is living with cancer. Her mom is here tonight. She is so excited to have redemption here at home in the United States with her full family in attendance. Her teammate and Olympic silver medalist is Courtney Freericks. Courtney Ferks took that Olympic race and really went for it, showed so much strength and bravery and came home with a silver medal. World Championship on the line. Here at Haywood Field at these first ever World Championships in America. Yavi and Geruto and Geiger go to the front very quickly and Emma Coburn makes her race strategy pretty obvious from the get-go. She's not going to let them get away. Yeah, I spoke to Emma and she said she's going to run with the front today. She doesn't feel like she can come back if she gives a big deficit. So she's going to risk it and run with the front women. She knows she can close, but she has to be in it and in the end. And we see Geruto to the front with Yavi. Yavi has the fastest time in the world this year. They both like to run in the front and run hard. Oh, a little skip and a little uh, kind of stagger there from a baby. And that put Courtney, who was the brother, that put uh, Emma Coburn off just momentarily. Emma was pretty harsh on herself after the prelim, prelims. She said, I ran good, I ran well for about 2,000 meters. I need to be better in the final. Yeah, she said she felt like she had a hard time pressing on the gas late in the race, and that's why she's decided today she wants to run a much more even effort, go out, risk a little in the beginning, but make sure she's in the mix, mix when the race is happening at the finish. Yavi and Gerudo out front. And watch these water jumps lead. This is where Frerichs and Coburn really shine. They are so clean over the water jumps and they get such distance through the pit. See how Coburn just closed up on that lead gap right there, strictly because of the water jump. Courtney Wayman uh, got caught up a little bit in the water jump there. It wasn't as clean as she would have liked it to have been. Here comes chest pole, cellophane chest pole. Chess Bowl was an unbelievable athlete. She ran, she won the Prefontaine Classic when she was just a teenager, but she's struggled in recent years and has looked better and better as this season has gone on. Courtney Freerich's just starting to drop back a little bit towards mid-pack as this field spreads out. Well, want to know why, Lee? Because they're on 840 pace, which would be a world oh record. Oh, my goodness. So this is as hot as it gets. This is a, they're running a pace that's never been run ever in the world. And that's why we see this strung out. And that's why we see people suffering already so early in this steeplechase. So if you want to know what the world record is, just in case we get close to that, it's 8.44.32. Remember that time, 8.44.32. Gerudo, who leads of Kazakhstan, has run an 8.53. When asked about that 9.01 in the prelims, she said, yes, of course I could have run faster, but I ran that pace just to make sure I got through to the final. Chamutai running shoulder to shoulder with USA's Emma Coburn. And as much as we focus on Gerudo this year, Yavi is very dangerous. Everyone needs to look out for her. She actually has the fastest time in the world this year, and she is not gonna give the title over to anyone. She is gonna fight all the way, all through the whole 3,000 meters. Yavi was born in Kenya but has represented Bahrain since the age of 16. So that's six years she's been representing Bahrain. Abebe is still in there, chest pole, Courtney Freericks. 
and Courtney Wayman has moved ahead of Freerix, the American record holder. And Courtney Wayman, we have no idea what her ceiling is, right? She's just been a collegiate athlete. She's never been pushed like this. She's never been in an event like this, a championship like this. And she is running very smart, tucking in and running on the rail. But they slowed significantly now. They're more on about nine-minute pace, which is much more manageable for most of the women in this race. Courtney Wayman of Utah finished second to Emma Coburn at the national championships here in this stadium just over three weeks ago. And she looked very, very good doing that. And she ran such a smart prelim. She ran on the rail. She put herself in the mix. She didn't extend herself too much. And so she's hoping to move up a little bit more tonight, but she's just learning with every race she does. The Ethiopian champion for this year is Worker Waget Kachu. And she's a little further back than expected. So keep an eye out there. She is just on the left there. Still in touch with this lead pack. But has anything, here's the question, Kara, has anything got anything, got anything, anyone got anything for Gerudo? Well, Gerudo just loves to go to the front and press, press, press. Some women like to just hammer like that, make it a race from the gun, and she is one of those women. Yavi is the only one who has run as fast as her this year. She actually has the fastest time. So she's the one I would expect to get up on her shoulder and see if she can ride that train. It's Kazakhstan, Bahrain. And then you have to look a long way back to pick up the first Kenyan runner. Kenya has had at least one athlete on the podium every single world championship back to 2005. Now here comes Get Kachu of Ethiopia, moving up into third ahead of Emma Coburn. So this is still a very hot pace. They're running sub nine minute pace and Emma Coburn has never done that, but she told me she feels like she's in 8.55 shape. This was the time to go with elite women and be pulled to that sub nine time. She's still hanging in there and she needs to make sure she stays on that lead. But Yavi has taken the lead now, Lee. She's decided she's going to control this race. The 22-year-old representing Bahrain. I'm keeping an eye further back on the Olympic champion, Peruth Chamutai of Uganda. She's running there with Emma Coburn. There's now a breakaway. There's now a breakaway of Yavi, Nora Geruto, and Gekachu of Ethiopia. And Gekachu is in a new place. She has never run these types of times before. In fact, she PR'd by 30 seconds at the Prefontaine Classic earlier this year to run 9.07. So we don't really know how fast she can go. She's just really learning this event this year. There's Gator Chu on the right-hand side in the Ethiopian colors. Kazakhstan, Bahrain, Ethiopia, a clear breakaway. And Emma Coburn in sixth, trying to hang on the best she can over these final three and a half laps. And she just needs to stay poised and keep moving forward. You never know what's going to happen. You never know who might you know, slow down significantly because of this hot pace. But watch these women over the barrier, such different styles. And Gerudo doesn't push off that barrier. She's actually losing time, losing momentum, but it doesn't matter because she's so quick the way she pops out and just keeps going. Nora Gerudo of Kazakhstan, the 26 year old who was granted citizenship to Kazakhstan earlier this year. Been off the global scene as Kara mentioned until that happened, has just two laps to go here inside Haywood Field to win a world championship. And Gerudo had to watch Tokyo from home, frustrated that she could not be there. And she wants to prove that she is the best in the world. She should have been there. But Lee, this race is not over yet. These top three, anything could happen. And even in fourth place, this is still very, very tight with Ababe from Ethiopia. Gerudo, Yavi, Gagachu, and Ababe. So two Ethiopians, one Bahrain, one Kazakhstan, with a lap and a half to go on a really hot evening here in Oregon. And Lee, what will Gerudo have on this final lap? They have a lap and a half to go. Here she comes to the water pit. She'll just go through it one more time. What will she have? She has been leading every single step. You know who they have to watch out for? They have to watch out for Makiti's Abebe. Look at this. Abebe has caught them. She's caught her countrywoman. Coming to the bell lap, the 21-year-old Ethiopian who won the steeplechase championship in her country last year could be a world champion. She absolutely looks relaxed. They're all starting to open up now. And now we see Yavi. One lap to go. They have to pour it all on and see what they have left. Yavi, Gerudo, Abebe, and Gainachu. It's down to these four. And sadly, somebody's going to miss out on a world championship medal. We just saw Yavi there end up on the back of Gerudo a little bit. And that seems like that spurred Gerudo to kick. She's not used to having so many people by her at this point in the race. Usually by this point, she is clear of the field. Again, that world championship time is 8.44.32. Keep an eye on the clock. We're at 8.20. Here comes Yavi. 
on far right in the red on the outside. Final time through the water jump and Gerudo went for it. Yavi lost out. She went from second to fourth. And Nora Gerudo of Kazakhstan leads this quartet into the home stretch. She was asked about that 901 prelim time. She said, yes, I can run faster. Of course I can run faster. The world championship record has gone. The world record, I should say, has gone. Nora Gerudo of Kazakhstan, Gaina Chu of Ethiopia. It's a championship record, 8.53.03. That's a record by at least four seconds for Nora Gerudo. Kazakhstan wins the world championship in the women's steeplechase. Lee, Gerudo did all the work. She took them out, she paced the whole thing, and when it came to the kick, she held everyone off. And not only did she hold them off, she separated. That is a world championship record, the third fastest time ever run in the world. Just incredible stuff. And she did it without a pacemaker, without lights on the track, just from within herself. Nobody has ever run that fast in a world championship in women's steeplechase. Hence the reaction of Nora Gerudo. Great effort for the Ethiopians, Gaita Chu and Abebe. They ran 